By the way, another fact that I forgot to mention, which is very important, is the neo-Nazi infiltration of the Ukrainian army that started eight years ago. That's the sect of it that actually uh, launched a war on the Russian civilians in the Donbass area. Okay, now they're trying to backtrack and say that, the, no, there's no Nazis in the Ukrainian army. But back in 2017 and 18, I was reading all about it. Nobody, nobody hid the news. So you might want to go back and check on that yourself before, before, before you call uh, the enemy fascists and Nazis. Uh, perhaps you got to look within. The Ukrainian army had Nazis in it, and it still does. All right, so it's been a month now since uh, the Russian invasion of the Ukraine started, and I've been kind of delaying this to see what's going on, but the more I watch the news outlet um, and some of the pages and some of the what the people are talking about, it just prompted me to share my... Uh, understanding based on facts on what's going on uh, with this war or invasion and having said that is anytime you see anything like this you know your heart breaks for the people that are suffering because it's always about the people are suffering there are women and children um, whether it's death or displacement leaving everything behind is not easy, but this, this has been happening for a, a while. It's just why now the Ukrainian news or the Ukrainian war is in the news 24 seven. And why, why did Putin all of a sudden decide to do this? Well, there's a history of this. This just didn't just happen this goes back to 2014 in the Donbass region, uh, where you have the two people in uh, uh, Donetsk and Luhasnik. I don't know if I'm saying it right. These are Russian-based citizens that live in the eastern part of the Ukraine. And um, you don't have to take my word for it. You can go back and try to do some research instead of just opening your mouth and just mimic what the media is saying, uh, about 14,000 uh, innocent Russian people have been killed since 2014 in that region. You could use, you could you see a lot of footage on it on YouTube, people that are visiting and see it's like a third world country, completely different from the West. And it just, it, it, it bewilders me where some of the people that are from Ukraine that I used to know they don't even know these facts or they don't want to talk i don't know i can't under, i don't know what the type of thinking they're posting is unreal uh, but there are facts behind the story this just just didn't start now and i'm most amazed about <laughs> the uh, the supporting of this clown I call him a clown Zelensky I mean he's a clown I'll show you a video after this uh, these words to show what he used to be not too too many years ago this guy was an actor I know for a fact that he played in um, uh, I think a three-year episodic show where he used to play the president I think it was from 2015 to 2018 and on Ukrainian TV he was an actor and he's still acting, by the way. And uh, a year later, he becomes the president. It reminds you of somebody, right, on The Apprentice. <laughs> An actor used to become a president. But that one you hate. This one you support. Hey, this guy is, you know, you want to be in the trenches with this guy. You want to be in a foxhole with him. He's a fighter. Are you kidding me? Overnight, he became a hero? I mean, I don't understand the ignorance of people these days. The level of stupidity is on a level that I've never seen before of my 61 years old. Uh, I'm 61 years old. I've never seen the level of ignorance, the brainwashing that's going on. 
these are smart people, intelligent people. They're very successful. Of course, I don't measure people by their success in businesses or where they live and the status of life. That's, that's in the past. But the level of, of ignorance is, is to a, a level that I've, I've never seen before, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, so before you cry out to what's going on with the, with the Ukrainians now, which is pretty sad, anytime you, you look at this scene, it's heartbreaking. If you're a human being, and that's the key word, if you are a human being, you feel for all human beings and what they go through. Where were you when we had a war for 20 years in Afghanistan? How many, how many millions did we kill in Afghanistan? For what? For the poppy fields and the, and the gas lines, the pipelines? How about Iraqi? How many millions were displaced and killed? Never heard you cry about that. And uh, the burning of Aleppo, Syria. So many places demolished, displaced Syrians, girls sold into prostitutions. Now, you always blame it on the guy. Yet, yeah, you know, we never had weapons of mass destruction in, in Iraq. It was all a lie, right? Did anybody uh, convict anybody of war crimes? No. It was okay to kill other people. It's only when your people is not killed, right? How about how about what we've done in Libya, overturned the regime, and now it's it's a slavery kind of a country. They have slaves now in the 21st century. You're not saying anything about Libya. How about giving all these weapons to Saudi Arabia, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, that's committing genocide in Yemen for years now, for years. Women and children, innocent, dying. I don't hear you say anything. Or is it because they're not blonde and blue eyes? I, I just, I don't get it. All of a sudden you become a human being and it's suffering only when it happens to you. And I'm not going to even get into Israel and with the West Bank and Gaza for the past seven years, the massacres. I'm going to leave that aside because I'm going to be accused of, oh, your, your background, I don't care. I don't have any background anymore. I'm a Christian. My allegiance is with Christ alone. I don't care about any country. I don't care about any land or none of that. It doesn't matter to me. Because I, and I'm not going to turn this into a religious speech, but I belong in a, to a different kingdom. I wish you the best. I hope you get to know this kingdom that I'm living under. It just, it kind of burns at you when you see all these things and you just have to, you, it's hard to stay quiet. It doesn't make any sense. This 24-7, all I hear is about the Ukrainian. Yet we have all these Somalia, Sudan, the northern Sudanese, the Muslim have been killing Christian Sudanese for over a decade. Nobody says anything. Yet we come to the most corrupt government in the history of the world, Ukraine right now, who we, we put a, a, a puppet government in there. And you want Russia to stay quiet right on their border? You want to include it in the NATO so you can have more votes right on the border of Russia? Do you forget? The Cuban Missile Crisis, it didn't take us but days to fight back. You can't be our neighbor here in Cuba and, 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 and put all the stuff as a Russian. It's the same scenario. Yet Putin waited, what, seven, eight years for this. These are the facts, folks. Of course, the people suffer. There's no two ways about it. And you want death to the Russians. What did the Russian people have to do with this? They're suffering too. So anyway, I'm going to include a, a few videos attached, a few facts. But uh, you, you, you be the judge of what's going on. I'm, you know, I present what the news outlet doesn't present to you. The backstory, because there is a backstory. And then you decide. Maybe you can take some of your stupid posts down and realize what's going on. Arrivederci. Do 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 do
Okay, so this is an example of what's going on on social media. Uh, world, uh, you don't have to go to Ukraine to fight Russia. Russia will come to you. I, I, I don't know, you know, if you can back that up with any facts. Uh, as I stated earlier in the video, that there's a reason why Russia is attacking Ukraine. So you have to get behind the facts, actually. Let's see what else. All right, here, uh, since the beginning of the Russia's invasion of Ukraine, four days, 352 Ukrainian civilians have been killed, including 14 children. That's, that's a shame. But again, you have to go back seven, eight years ago and talk about um, the Donbass region with the, the Donetsk and the Luhansk with uh, 140, uh, sorry, 14,000 innocent Russians have been killed by the neo-Nazi sect of the Ukrainian army. These are facts that you can go back and look at. Uh, I'm not making anything up like you are. Okay, now it's getting a little aggressive where you can post on Facebook, death to the enemy, that's hate speech. Of course, they don't suspend this account, but if it's the other way around, uh, you could rest assured it would be. It just, you know, are you going with the stream of, of the news outlet, the news media? Are you going with the flow? Are you, gonna, or are you going against it? If you are, you, if you're going against it, you're going to be shut down. Your videos are going to be deleted and so forth. It's just, it's, um, it's the lack of freedom uh, we are living under now. It's uh, censorship. But it's going to catch up with everyone eventually. There you go. And death to the enemy almost now. It's going to be um, the theme uh, end line here um, with almost every post. It's going to be death to the enemy. That's what he writes. All right. Original artwork by my son, David. Yeah. So now it'll slowly, as I read the page, it will slowly become about him. Because if you're a self-absorbed person, it always comes back to you. It's not a Ukrainian issue anymore. It's not about people dying anymore. It's about your son being an artist and you have interview and uh, listen to me on the radio show. It just never ends. But listen, he's got bootlickers for supporters. So if you have a fan uh, base, the people that just brown nose why not continue i'll show you yeah this is what i mean spread the word they misspelled my last name but everything else is accurate yeah everything else is accurate just ask me this is my picture i've been at the demonstration i'm protesting and here we go i'm scheduled uh, to be interviewed by a podcast tomorrow i guess you're an expert now uh so there it is. It's no longer about the Ukraine and people dying. And there's a link for his interview. There you go. He's going to make a difference. Of course, um, in an earlier post I didn't put, he's asking his friends to write for their senators and congressmen like he's going to stop the war uh, with a letter. This is a premeditated war that actually started in 2014. But as I mentioned, 
uh, before that you know it was the other way around it was the ukrainian army inf- infiltrated by the neo nazi sect that is killing killing innocent uh, russian civilians but that was okay then okay it's okay to kill others and this is to me this is a, it has become a joke stop arguing now he's telling people he's proclaiming uh what other people should do stop sitting on the fence just give you ukraine the real weapons yeah right you know again they probably don't know what a no fly zone is <laughs> that means uh, you're allowed to shoot down a, 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 a russian airplane what do you think is going to happen after that so basically let's just end this wall because russia attacked my uh, i don't know mother country i guess i don't know when do you become an american after 44 years or what i, I just don't understand he's another moron no, seriously i mean talk about morons is a bootlicker russian spies in movies and he's calling uh tucker carlson a russian spy it's so ridiculous you just have to laugh yeah he's a dedicated democrat this is who i'm talking about jim shelburne and this is my friend brian i don't know what the hell are you doing brian i thought you were smarter than that you wanker you want to be a zelensky you want to uh, wear leather pants and uh, put on high heels I mean, seriously, I just don't understand. Go back to the video I showed of Zelensky when he was an actor. This is so silly. Does anyone have any time to do any research at all for the truth? This is this is a problem with Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram. Anybody, any idiot with a page. I'm not calling you, Brian. Any idiot can have a page and post crap. Seriously? So you support an actor now that become president? I thought you hated Trump. I mean, I can't blame you for hating Trump. The guy's a douchebag. I didn't like him either, but really? This 44-year-old, you know anything about his past? Oh, wait a second. Is it because he's a Jew? You know, I, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to make it into a religion or race issue because it's going to backfire so i'm going to restrain but who is this guy do you know anything about him his past he was an actor till 2018 all of a sudden the next year he was elected to be the president of ukraine jesus christ here's another post by my friend brian really you believe this guy is in the trenches you want this guy in a foxhole with you are you serious see you're falling for what the media is, is pushing you drank the Kool-Aid, just like most people do. Most people just drink the Kool-Aid. Whatever CNN is showing or Fox News, they just it's true. I thought I'd mention another boot liquor right here. He doesn't post anything. He just comments on other. That's how much of a coward this guy is. Doesn't post anything unless it's private. But he just comments. He agrees with anything this guy Igor says. About it. We're living in times of catastrophic crisis where the lives of innocent civilians are sacrificed in the wars of their masters. Yes, in Ukraine, but not only. Since the last plenary, tens of thousands of Afghani citizens have been forced to flee in search of food and safety. Five million children face famine, an agonizing and painful death, a 500% increase in child marriages and children being sold just so they can survive and not a mention of it not here not anywhere no wall-to-wall -wall tv coverage no emergency humanitarian response no special plenaries not even a mention in this plenary no afghani delegations and no statements my god they must be wondering what makes their humanitarian crisis so unimportant is it the color of their skin is it that they're not white they're not European, that their problems come from a U.S. gun or a U.S. invasion. Is it that the decision to rob their country's wealth 
was taken by a despotic US president rather than a Russian one. Because my God, all wars are evil and all victims deserve support. And until we get on that page, we have no credibility whatsoever. Amnesty International, the most respected human rights organization in the world, and Human Rights Watch, within a very short period of time, issue these damning reports saying that Israel, since its foundation, has been built on a system of oppression, a domination, an apartheid, and racism, involving the murder uh, of unarmed, innocent civilians on a regular basis, arbitrary detention and imprisonment, land annexations, the displacement of people, the denial of basic fundamental rights to six million Palestinians who are displaced outside Israel in the occupied territories to the right to the return to, uh, to their homes, to the illegal blockade uh, of uh, Gaza, uh, which has left, as they say in the report, Gaza in a permanent state of humanitarian crisis crisis. And yet you want to be careful about your language. You're happy to correctly use the most strong and robust language to describe the crimes against humanity of Vladimir Putin, which will not use the same strength of language when it comes to describing the Isra Israel's treatment of the Palestinians. Now you see, if you're going to have moral standards, those standards have to be consistent. Otherwise, they are not standards at all. They are just cynicism. I appeal to you to uphold the tradition this country has, going right back to its foundation, to opposing the oppression uh, of peoples and standing up against brutal powers that are willing to subjugate people like the Palestinians or any other.